my ring's filthy. It's absolutely filthy. I think I scored over a thousand, which is the ultimate filthy level that you can be, and I'm over it. Any reading over a thousand? Oh, it's filthy. Yeah. <laughs> we actually had one that was over the limits. You're just under over the limits. Oh my God. You know, I'm kind of a germaphobe, so it's kind of now creeping me up. We're at the trade show, and we're getting ready to go inside and test some jewelry of some of our friends who are visiting here today. But before we do, I thought it would be fun to go in and check the toilet seat of the men's room to use as a comparison. Follow me. So we're in the men's room. Let's go check the toilet seat, see what the hygiene rating is. OK, you ready? Here we go. Let's swab the old toilet seat right here. All right. Now we're going to run the test. Take about 15 seconds. Here we go. Fourteen eighty. That's pretty filthy. Let's find out how people's jewelry does when we test theirs. We are going to be testing rings for bacteria, okay. uh, which I found has been a very serious problem. So I'll take this opportunity to now test your ring. We're going to give it a swab with our bacteria tester. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. So I'm going to place it in here, and we're going to see what we get for a reading. It takes about fifteen seconds. So here we go. The reading is uh, four thousand seven sixty-seven. And here's a chart which explains what the different levels mean. What did you say mine was? 4,767. Oh so worse than filthy. Worse than filthy. So, so is it going to tell me exactly what grossness is on my ring or, oh good. So oh yeah. And if you're over 1,000, it means it's filthy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's like the worst you've ever seen. <laughs> oh, almost. I clean my jewelry about three times a year with toothpaste. I usually wash my I wash my hands with my jewelry on. I use antibacterial soap when I do the dishes, so I'm hoping it's not disgusting. You think you're washing your hands and you're washing yeah. all the bacteria off, but surprisingly you're not. It's actually a lot of it is staying, or a ton of it actually, is staying on your jewelry. I think because we're just so used to washing our hands all the time that we just I assume that it gets clean along with my hands. And I do wash my hands with the antibacterial soaps. I'm, I'm notorious for not taking off my jewelry to do the scrubbing. I understand you're a nurse, according to your... That's true. I do wash my hands a lot, generally before and after every patient. Okay, so you're 3,685. That would be considered filthy. <laughs> I know. And, and just to put it into perspective, uh, I went into the men's room and tested the toilet seat before I came here tonight, and that came out at about 14.80. So... I should really clean my rig. More often than you think. <laughs> and that's why I invented this Aquasonic Wave Jewelry Cleaner, because it'll actually allow you to sanitize your jewelry at home in your dishwasher. So what you do is you put your rings, your earrings, your bracelets and chains on the inside of the Aquasonic. Then you close the cover, take a little antibacterial soap that we've included and you put it on the top. And then you place this in the top rack of your dishwasher. The steam, the hot water, and the soap of the dishwasher not only removes all the dirt, but with the antibacterial liquid, it also removes all the bacteria. I've never thought about cleaning it in a dishwasher, actually. I think it's different, but if my ring is filthy, I'll definitely try it. <laughs> the only thing comparable to this is coming to the store. Yeah. And our equipment costs 5000 yeah. huh. So you can buy this for $50 yeah. and do what I do at the store at home. That's all it is, is $50? Yeah. This is going to be something that's going to be reasonably, reasonably priced that just about anybody can afford to buy? Or? Well, between $40 and $50. Okay, that's not bad. But you own it for life. Right. Uh, well, you are the winner today of the highest score. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, just so you know, this is a chart that explains... Oh, brother. Yeah. Yeah, it is filthy. I know. And I should know better because I'm a goldsmith's daughter. <laughs> well, the good news is you now have the lowest score here at the trade show. Oh, that's good. Okay, but if you take a look at the chart, it's still filthy. It's filthy. <laughs> and now, as a little surprise, 
um, I decided to go to the men's room and test the toilet seat in there to see what the reading was going to be on that so that we could use it as a comparison for the jewelry. I don't want to know, do I? No. Um, <laughs> it came out to just under 1500 Oh! Yeah. That's so creepy. It kind of is. We tested the toilet seat to see what level of bacteria was on there. And that came out at 1400 or Just, just out, uh, under 1500 So. Oh my god. But, oh my gosh! I mean, I never imagined it would be dirtier than a toilet seat, so that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> 5,318. <laughs> I have her in the same car with me. Yeah. <laughs> with that nasty ring. <laughs> I'm going to be walking home now, you know. Before I did the trade show today, we ran into the men's room over here, and we tested the toilet seat to oh, see what that was. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like three times more bacteria. Yes, yes. You want bacteria? No, no, I don't even want to know. You don't want to know where this ring has been.